Okay, in this video, we're going to work on a new rule, a new exponent rule called the power rule. So um, I'm going to put the power rule up here. And what the power rule is, is if we have something like x to the a, and then we raise it to a power again, well, let's, let's figure out what this is. Um, I'm going to give you a pretty simple example over here. Let's say we've got x squared, and then we raise that to the third power. Well, what would that be equal to? That would be x squared times x squared times x squared. And now we can use the product rule that says, what do we do with the exponents of all of these? Um, we have these exponents up here, 2 and 2 and 2, and so x squared times x squared is times x squared is x we would add those up, right? So 2 plus 2 plus 2. We talked about that in the last video, so that would be equal to x to the 6th. Now take a look up here, and what's the relationship between 2 and 3 and this number 6 that we got? Well, they're multiplied, right? So to sum up the power rule, when you have x to the a and we raise it to the b, it's going to be x to the a times b. So we're going to multiply those up there. So let's go take a look at a few of these. The first one is pretty simple. When we have x to the fifth and we square that, that's going to be x to the 5 times 2. Multiply 5 times 2, we get x to the tenth power, right? Um, so that's the answer for the first one. It's going to be x to the tenth. Now let's take a look at this one down here. You can see that we've got more stuff going on. We've got a couple different letters, and then we've got a number out here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute that cubed to all three. So it's going to be 3 to the third, and then x to the, remember we already have a power of 2 up here, so it's going to be x to the 2 times 3, and then y to the, what's the exponent above y? It's 1, right? So it's going to be y to the 1 times 3. Now, we can evaluate 3 to the third using our calculator. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then x to the 2 times 3 is going to be x to the 6. And then we're going to get y to the 1 times 3 is y to the third. And that's that one right there. All right, finally, let's put it all together. We're going to use the power rule first, and then we're going to use the product rule second. So let's start by uh, figuring out and distributing the powers here and distributing the powers here. So it's going to be negative 5 squared x to the 1 times 2, because there's just an exponent of 1 up here, and then again y to the 1 times 2. And that's times, here I'll do this one in blue, We'll do 3 to the 3rd, and then x to the 4 times 3. And now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and evaluate these exponents first. So let's do this one over here. Negative 5 squared is a positive 25. x to the 1 times 2 is x to the 2nd. y to the 1 times 2 is y to the 2nd. And then times, again, I'll just do this in black now, uh, 3 to the 3rd is going to be 20. 7, and then we're going to get x to the 4 times 3 is x to the 12th. Now, using what we learned in the last video, how are we going to combine these? Well, you're going to multiply the 25 and the 27. So 25 times 27 is 675. And now we've got x squared times x to the 12th. Remember, the, uh, the product rule says we are going to add those, so it's going to be x to the to plus 12 up here. And then I still have this y squared, nothing else to put that together with, so that's just going to come down as y squared. Finally, I'm going to evaluate this, and our final answer is going to be 675x to the 14th, y to the 2nd. 